What's up? It's the New York Hardcore Chronicles Live, sponsored by Fryette Amplification, New York Hardcore Comics, and The Organic Grill. Here we are live from the A7, and it's fucking hot in here. <laughs> Does it look like I'm sweating? Because I am. It's like, a, it's like a gig in here. It's that hot. It's as hot as when we do shows in here right now. It's like I couldn't tell them to turn the air conditioner on for just me. Oh, hey, could you turn the air conditioner on? Like, it's kind of hot back there, you know? But welcome everyone around the world. Uh, got some great uh, A7 family guests today. I hope everybody, uh, everybody is everybody. Hi, Gina. I hope you're well. Chris Hoffman, what's up, bro? Robert Hogg, what's happening, man? Mark T up in Canada, what's up? What's happening, Mark? Hope you're well. Uh, Bernardo, brother. What's happening, Bernardo? Lenny Crazy Eddie, A7 fam represent. So, hey, Frankie too far, what do you say? It's all good. Um, like I said, here we are. Um, there is the infamous A7 plaque right behind me. 1980 to 1984, pioneers of American hardcore and the birthplace, broadcasting live from the birthplace of New York hardcore. Doesn't get any better, doesn't get any better than that, right? It's fucking badass, I must admit. Hi, Stella, how you doing? Hope you're well. Um, Chris Corkum, happy Independence Day to you too, buddy. So yeah, let's keep it moving. Uh, it's kind of crazy. We got guests coming in and they're gonna be sitting right across the room uh, from me. We got a whole bunch of people outside that want to say hi. So let, let, let's bring let's bring a couple on. Uh, let, let's start with with our pal Steven Messina, who's right outside the window. What's up, buddy? I got people. Look at all my people I got with me today. What's up? Hey, say hello. Hello. Whoa. We're doing picture of the day. <laughs> we got Ake. We got Enzo. Is that Gurney. Ryan from Ake? Worldwide Hardcore Firing Squad. Is that Ryan got- from Ake? And look at this. We got A7 frozen margaritas. Right on. Hey, let's do let's do photo of the day, all right? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Stephen Messina Hardcore Shutterbug photo of the day. Let's see what we got here. Boom. All right. Boom. Well. I guess this is sort of the uh, the Fourth of July motif, right? Yeah, that's you know what? Paper. It's all about being a patriot. There you go. So this looks to me. Let me see. Well, everyone's chiming in. Would that be? <laughs> would that be Alice Cooper? There we go. Tell us. All right. Well, is that? Is that, is that it, yeah, like here you go. Wait, Co- Courtney said this picture doesn't even need explaining. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Cookie. Yeah, man. All this, right, t- this, tell us about this photo, bro. This is Alice Cooper. This is, I believe, about seven years ago. And uh, let me see if I can get Mr. Strummer in there. There we go. This is taken seven years ago. This is Jones Beach in Wanta, Long Island. And Alice Cooper opening up for Iron Maiden, Strong Strong and absolutely blowing blowing the doors off the place. Alice Cooper as an opening band, doing only an hour set, was like classic after classic after classic. I've seen him blow away so many bands. Never want to let him open for you. And pretty legendary. And and the guy still sounds amazing. He has the kind of voice that never changed all, all these years and just 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 killing it and i don't know about you i don't know if you're an alice cooper fan or not but uh amazing still amazing after all these years 
Yeah, I mean, I have my mom. I have my moments uh, with Alice Cooper. You know, um, I saw Alice Cooper uh, here in New York City in 1984, 80. I don't know if it was 82, 83, or 84. Uh, sort of when he was at a real, uh, like, weird stage of his career. It was the. Was that, the was that with, with Kane Roberts, the big burly guitar player? Yeah, it, it was the Armed Force Special Forces uh, tour, and and he like his makeup. He looked like an old woman, and I saw him in a place. A long gone venue here in New York um, called the Savoy. Remember the Savoy? It was it was in it was in Times Square. Oh, yeah. It was in Times Square. It was a uh, an old Broadway theater where they used where they used to do shows there. And uh, so I saw him there. It, it was like a real low point of his career. It was the place was like half filled, but it was like wow, it was Alice Cooper. You know, it was pretty cool. I, I I'm sorry. I know it's loud out here. But uh, I think it was amazing. I, I remember the first time I saw him, he was one of those people where I actually said, like, I'm seeing Alice Cooper. And you kind of realize you're seeing history, you know, yeah. seeing a guy that opened up for the doors, John Lennon. I mean, just, uh, you, know, you know, what my favorite Alice Cooper record is, honestly, which is from that era. It's a record called Flush the Fashion. I don't know if anybody knows that record. It's called Flush the Fashion. A very different kind of Alice Cooper record, and uh, he does that. He does a cover of that song "Clones" on there, and "Aspirin Damage" is on there, and a, a couple of things. But um, "Flush the Fashion" that 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 came out when I was a teenager in New York, and, and we lo we love that. Yeah, I got any favorites of his, and I guess the. Uh, I got dogs barking. I got people drinking. All right, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go, man. Thanks, thanks, right. and, and I'll see you in a bit. Say goodbye. Oh. I'll see you guys soon. You got it. It's the New York Hardcore Chronicles live. Uh, it's gonna be a little crazy today, as you can see. I'm working up a sweat, you know. Um, or, or, or here come the comments. Flush the fashion was okay. I loved that record, bro. When, when I was Yep, Cl clones. Yep, yep. Um, what else? Yeah. So there you have it. Um, let's keep it moving. I'm losing like serious poundage as I as I sweat here. Let's um, let's. Where's Rap Bones? What's up with Rap Bones? Yo, what's up? You out there, Rap Bones? Yo, what up? <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez, baby, we out here. What's was up, good. everybody? What's happening, bro? Where are you? What's going Nothing. on? We're out here on a beautiful summer day, hitting the sidewalk across the street from A7, Niagara, uh, right off the fence of uh, Thompson Square Park. Uh, come on down. It's a beautiful day. We're social distancing. We're hanging out. We're enjoying ourselves. And uh, I don't really got a toy today, but... Uh, I got a bunch of swag to show you. Of course, come down and support the show if you can, if you're in the neighborhood or anywhere in New York City. We're going to be here all day. But uh, we got some stuff set up for you guys. Let's see the Rap Bones shirts. Well, we got you first, buddy. All right. We got the A7. We're going to go down the fence. So this is a live pop-up we got going, guys. We got the new A7 tribute shirt to all the new generation of A7 bands keeping the scene alive. And then uh, I got got some shirts going out here. Old school style, right off the fence, right? Like right off the fence, old school style. Right on. I got my new designs out. I got my boy Anthony Gutter out here, Gutter Christ. Give a shout out to Gutter Christ Production, Too Many Blunts Clothing Line. And uh, this says it all, man. It's kind of that kind of day, right? Yo, as hot as it is out there, it's hotter in here. I got news for you. So yeah, we got uh, we're repping in Gory, you know. Yep. So, this, 
plenty, you know, a few people hanging out behind me, having a good time, you know, getting our little drink on, enjoying the holiday and uh, enjoy the show. We got some really great guests on the show. Dan is my man, one of my favorite people right now in the scene, of course. And, uh, you know, these guys, we do this out here, guys. Come on. Summertime 2020. Where you at? Can you hear me now? Exactly. I'll so see, that's I'll, what we got, I'll guys. See you, I'll see you as soon as the show's over. We'll hang out on the sidewalk. <laughs> br br bring me on when uh, Dan's on. I got an offer for him. Maybe something he can't refuse. All right. <laughs> all right I'll all talk right. to you Later. in a bit. All right. Later. There you have it. It's it's that it's it's that kind of a show. Uh, we got people inside. We got people outside. We got we got the plaque going down. We got Norway in the house. Federico, what's happening, brother? Upstate Rick, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, Rapos Rapos is hustling for, for for sure. I wanted to mention, like I always do, and like I have to, like I have to do. Um, I want to mention my Patreon and my patrons. I want to thank everybody. Um, I just released an excerpt, a never-before-seen excerpt from my film, Who the Fuck Is That Guy? The Fabulous Journey of Michael Lago. I, for, my patron, for my Patreons only, for my patrons only on my Patreon page. I've been on many stages, held many mics, took airplane flights. That said, for all my patrons on my Patreon page, I just released an excerpt from Who the Fuck Is That Guy, The Fabulous Journey of Michael Lago, of me interviewing John Lydon, a.k.a. Johnny Rotten. And in this excerpt, we're talking about New York City back in the day and CBGBs and a bunch of other really cool shit. Just me and Lydon talking. It, it's, an, it's an excerpt um, from the interview I did with him, some of which ended up in the, in the film. So there's my Patreon page. If you're not a patron, please come be a patron and see this amazing content that I'm putting out there. Shit that's never been seen and that never will be seen unless you are a patron on the Patreon page. Never before seen footage of Johnny Rotten and me bullshitting about New York. It's great. It's really great stuff. So go check that out. And if you want to contribute and you can't handle the patron thing, there is a PayPal address. That's Stone4124 at AOL. Yes, I got an email account in the dawn of the internet age. So there you go. There's the, there's the Patreon page. Uh, the content, thank you, Mike V. The content is well worth the money. Yes, John Lydon's the man. Yo, you got to see this footage. It's incredible. There's a $2 Patreon, there's a $2 patron tier. Two bucks. For two bucks, you can... For two bucks, you can throw your hat in the ring and be a patron and see all this incredible footage. So go check a lot, a lot of other stuff. Yeah, man. John Lydon's quite a figure. Hilarious story about learning about, yeah, you saw it. It's great. Great footage of me and him bullshitting. And I'm going to be releasing a lot of never before, never will be seen excerpts from all my films, including the New York Hardcore Chronicles film. So there you go. Get your shoes and socks on, kids. It's right around the corner. Join the Patreon page if you have not. If you have, thank you very much. Our first guest. Our first guest has been on the show before. He's a good friend of the A7, a good friend of mine. Uh, he was one of the founding fathers in the band Dog Eat Dog. Currently, these days, he is, of course, in the, in the band with the video that opened up the show, Kings Never Die. My friend and yours, Mr. Dan Sazi. What's up? What's up? Hot, man. I'm sitting across from Drew Stone here, and I got, no joke, nuts. I, I, my nuts are sweating. I got sweat pouring down my legs onto the floor. Is everybody hearing that weird echo, too? Or is that just us because we're in the same room? Just got to adjust to it. Yeah. So, hey, welcome back to the show. And uh, how, how are you doing? How, how's, the, how's, the, uh, how's the pandemic treating you? What's up with the band? Give us the band update. Well, first of all, well, love being here, obviously, and, and grateful. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do like everybody else? I mean, the pandemic just kind of puts a stop to everything. Uh, but you got to just find a way to, like, burn right through it. 
You got to just DIY it, which is what we've been trying to do. Made a video for the song Never Know What You Might Find, which uh, we released about two weeks ago. And luckily, thanks to Laz Pina from El Nino, he's got a studio in Hoboken. And uh, thanks to the fact that our drummer, Steve Gallo, knows how to use Logic, he recorded, <laughs> recorded drum tracks in his bedroom, MIDI files from Logic, sent them over to Laz, and we just recorded three new songs that we're going to release in September, October, uh, because you can't just sit around and wait, especially when you have a new band. I mean, you have to, you got to grind, man. And we want people to hear the music. And the only way to do that is to just find a way through whatever the circumstances are. We just found a way through some great people and effort. And uh, we're going to release three more songs. Uh, the EP is going to be called Side by Side. And we're going to release that in September, October. So regardless of the situation, we're just moving forward, man. That's all you could do. Well, it's good. You guys have a good work ethic, you know, and, you know, these are trying times and you just, we were talking about this before. I know you guys, you just released another, another video and listen, a lot of bands are shutting down here and not doing anything. And, you know, you guys are, are, are continuing to get stuff out there and, and that's important. It's important to be proficient, man, and, and, and get your stuff out there. Art is important. Yeah. The, the art must be liberated. I, I'm a strong believer in that. You know? I, I, I'm with you. I'm yeah, with man. you. And I had no idea how to make a video. Like, we didn't know how to do it. I filmed it on my... I filmed it on my iPhone as we were driving in the Jeep. Kind of just figured out the storyline as we went. And then I went back on YouTube, figured out how to use iMovie, edited it. And that's how we came up with a video. I mean, it's the only way we were able to do it. So Here's a question from Dory. How many times did you go through the Lincoln Tunnel in that video? One time. Oh, all right. It was a, it was a trip. <laughs> Jay Calfin, our drummer, our uh, bass player. Sorry, Steve. Jay Calfin, the echo is like freaking me out a little bit. But Jay Calfin lives down the shore in Jersey. I met him on the Garden State Parkway. I filmed him as he came in, set up the camera, jumped in the Jeep. We drove, picked up Dylan, our singer. Drove to Jersey City, picked up Larry from Jersey City, jumped through the Lincoln Tunnel, drove to Queens to pick up Steve, Steve Gallo, our drummer, filmed driving around the block two times, filmed him running down the block, and that was it. That was the video, you know. But still chiming in. Dan had it all planned. It was a very <laughs> video. I had it all I had the trip planned, yeah. Right. But but it was fun to do, you know? And the other thing was that I hadn't seen anybody, none of us had seen each other in about 10 weeks. And it was, uh, it was good just to see everybody. It was fun to do. It was like a day trip. And it was safe. We were outside. Everybody had their masks on. We were in a Jeep with the, with the uh, top off. And uh, I felt like we were doing the right thing. And, you know, we got a video out of it. So, and it was really, it was fun to do. Really enjoyed it. I like it. You were just you were just telling me that uh, the last video you did, you figured it all out yourself. You figured out I knew we figured out the whole thing. That's great. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. So it's all good, man. Hey, I want to show I want to show people out there. I have a, I have a second camera set up, and it's pointing out the window of the A7, right? Yep. So this is what's going on outside the window of A7 right now. And uh, they're building, they're building, yeah, I, I froze up. Can you hear me? So I want to show everybody. I'm sorry. I actually, I actually had, I actually had a heat, I had a heat stroke moment. I just, I just melted. 
But anyway, I want to show everybody uh, the second camera and give them a view of the room here. So hang with me. I'm going to bring in this other camera. I'm going to show you what it looks like here. Let's see. There you go. Finally. Woo. Woo. Say hi. The heat, man. It's hot in here. <laughs> That's what's going on. All right, enough fucking around. Okay, we're back. Upstate Rick. And we're back. It's the New York Hardcore Chronicles Live, sponsored by Fry It. Sponsored by. By my, 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 Sharona. Sponsored by Fry It Amplification, New York Hardcore Comics, and your Gary Hill. And the heat delirium is setting in. Our guest. Yes. Is Dan Stand the Stasi. Stasi. And we're doing, we're doing it. it. So, uh, so uh, yeah, yeah. Let's talk we're it. talking. Um, um, hopefully, when we settle down, down, when we were just talking, we were just talking about, about this before, before we're going to start people with people into this room and, 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 and playing the game. game. You, can pass, 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 pass. you know, you guys are one of the worst bands in here. Yeah, love to do it, man. Love playing here. Cool. Anybody? Love it. Anybody you want to shout out? Shout out. Way out. Uh, Obviously, I want to say to, hi to everybody that's uh, that's watching and dropping these comments. I've been reading them as they go along. Say hi to everybody in the band. Larry, I know Steve's out in Queens today. Larry's in Pennsylvania today. I saw Dylan chiming in. And uh, say hi to Jay. He's actually seeing his, his parents that need a little bit of help, something that you were doing for the last few months as well. And uh, that's about it, man. Just happy to be here. And if you want to check out Kings Never Die on Instagram, because we have absolutely no idea what we're doing on social media, we are literally winging it. So if you want to check out Kings Never Die on Instagram, it is at Kings Never Die Official. Facebook is at Kings Never Die Band. And we do have a new website we just put together with everything, all the videos. Uh, that is also www at Kings Never Die Official. Um, thank you everybody that came out today. Rap owns, as always, Steve, um, and great guest Dave. Dave's coming up, right? And uh, Logan from Gorilla Glue. Uh, Glue. So, just want to thank everybody and hope to see everybody soon, man. That's it. Well, thanks, thanks man. man. Thank you. Thanks for being a part of the show, man. And, and we'll, talk, we'll talk to you soon. I'll, I'll see you outside in a bit. Yeah. yeah. All right. Send, send, the, send the next send victim in. Peace. I'll go. There you have it, Dan Nastasi. Kings never die. Yeah, the echo thing's a little weird. Um, I got to mute myself for the guest here and there. I'll do, I'll do the best I can. All right? Do the best I can. And, uh, yeah, t t tell, uh, tell them to come on in. Uh, what else happening out there? Um, yeah, the echo's going to come and go, except for when it's when it's just me. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. A7 Platt uh, in the background. Pioneers of American hardcore and the birthplace of New York hardcore. AOD, agnostic front, antidote, anti-warfare, artificial peace, bad brains, bad posture. Beastie Boys, Bedlam, Black Flag. You know what? Where's Sid, man? Hey, you Sid. The... Hey, Sid. Uh, Sid's on another planet, man. Sid doesn't seem to have his shit together. Um, Black Flag, Blood Clot, Butch Lust and the Hypocrites. Anybody remember Butch Lust and the Hypocrites? Good one. 
CIA, cause for alarm. Cavity creeps, code of honor, crucial truth, crumb suckers. How about that? The crumb suckers played here. Death before dishonor, DOA from Canada, Mark Tulch. Fucking DOA. Down syndrome. This band I don't know. Down syndrome. Even worse, false prophets, fatal rage, Gilligan's revenge, heart attack, ism, killer instinct, kraut. Woo. Murphy's Law, no thanks, rapid deployment, Reagan youth, savage circle, scream shock, SSD control. A crowd fa a, uh, uh, a fan favorite here on the show. The abused, the attack, the eliminators. Vinny Stigma's first fan. The head lickers, the high and the mighty. What's up? The influence, the mad, the misguided, the mob, mob style. I'm ready. You're ready. We're ready. I'm ready. You're ready. We're ready. Mob style. Let's go. The nihilistics, the possessed, the pricks. This band, I don't know. The pricks. The psychos, the stimulators, the undead. Bobby still represent. The young and the useless. Ultra violence, urban waste, virus, war zone. Actually, that's not right. War zone never played. That's not right. War zone never played the A7. I don't think war zone was in existence when the A7. Um, actually, actually, the. The rap poison band played, and they ended up calling themselves Warzone. So I guess fair enough. Whipping Boy, Core Lords, and many, many more. That's uh, that's everybody. That's everybody on the plaque, and many, many more. So yeah, right. Down syndrome, hell of a name. There's a couple. There's a couple bands on there. I, I don't know. I, I I do not know. Yeah, Kraut. Yo, Kraut used to rule the. Kraut used to rule the roost here in this fucking in this fucking place. They fucking they killed it, man. What do you say to those butt hurt when they didn't make the plaque? Well, there was an original plaque that had like like 15 bands on it, and there was a big uproar. So Jesse, God bless his soul, went out and redid the plaque and made it a little bit more inclusive. I don't think. I don't really know who was left off the plaque, man. Maybe, you know, a band if you played here like once or something. But those are like, you know, those are all the bands that, that played here, you know, a bunch of times. Those are, those, are the, uh, those are the bands, you know. So the Fugs. The, I, don't, I don't know if the Fugs played A7. You know, the ba yeah, Bad Brains is on there, right? Bad Brains. Antidote. I got two bands on the plaque. Antidote and I and the Mighty. Ultra violence. That's right. Ultra violence. Ultra violence is on there too. You know? No, no, it's not Down syndrome from Canada. No way. No way, Steen. Yes, Todd. Todd Hamilton from Warzone. You should get Eugene from Whipping Boy. I love Eugene. He, he's a pal. I, I definitely get. Um, I definitely get Eugene on. So that said, let's bring on our next guest. Um, he's played the room a couple of times. Uh, another fan favorite. Let's bring on Logan from Gorilla Blue. What's up? What's up, bro? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. We'll, we'll try to deal with this weird echo, you know? <laughs> Tell us uh, what's going on with the band and what's the latest. How, how you do, how you guys feeling? I mean, for a long time, we couldn't get together and practice. But recently, we've been able to get together more, started writing more, and hopefully we're going to have material for an album soon. That yeah, should be good. Yeah. 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 I mean, you guys, you guys what I want to ask you is that you guys just graduated high school, high school, right? Yeah. Big, big, yeah. big, big deal. <laughs> yeah. So in my experience, you know, being, um, you know, when I graduated high school and, you know, actually I wasn't in a band. I wasn't in a band in high school, actually. I, I got, once I, when I left high school, I, my music career started, mm -hmm. but it seems that like, like when bands graduate high school, a lot of guys go their separate ways, go to college, and this and that. A lot of bands in there. What's going to What's going to happen with you guys? How are you guys going to continue this thing? I mean, three of us are going to the same college, and then 
uh, our drummer is going to purchase, which is like 15 minutes from where we are. Um, he's, I think he's commuting for his first year. So we should still be okay for a while. Hopefully nothing happens. And I love everyone in the band, all my hearts, my brothers, but you know, things happen. People grow up. Yeah. You guys are growing up, man. It's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> I mean, even from, even from when I first met you, like even like a year ago, you know, you guys, you guys have aged a lot, man. You guys are, you guys are maturing. Yeah, yeah. But you mustn't. But you can't stop playing fucking music, bro. You can't stop making art. You, you, you have to continue. Don't let you know. Don't let these obstacles get in your way, man. This is important stuff. And you guys, I hope you guys can continue on and be a band and do cool shit. Hell yeah. 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 For sure. Is this your dad chiming in? Tell him to do his yeah. laundry. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> hey, clean up your room. When you get home. <laughs> that is, that is, that's funny. I can't do much about the echoes. I got two people in here. I got two people in here in the same room. So there's not much I can, I can do here. We just got to tough it out. I'm trying to mute me or the other person. We'll do the best we can. I apologize about the echoes. Um, this is a concept uh, whose time has not yet come. It's, 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 a, little, it's a little bit difficult. Uh, your dad says he loves you. <laughs> and uh, just Lenny, Lenny, from, Lenny from Crazy Eddie says, keep at it. You know, you just, just got to keep doing it. And, you know, I talked to you guys a little bit about, you know, I'd love to get involved with your, with your recording. You know, maybe, uh, maybe produce it. I got some ideas, but um, I definitely love to get involved and, and get you guys into the recording studio, get Gorilla Glue into the recording studio and, and, and do something cool. We have, a, have a great adventure together in the recording studio, you know? Um, here you go from uh, Love the Ray B style chain, New York Hardcore, Hardcore represent. represent. That's cool, man. That's cool. Okay, when you mute it, it works. Okay. Um, so, all right, so, so, so what else? Tell, tell us a little bit more what's happening. And, uh, is it good to get out and get downtown and get sick of being in the house? Oh, yeah. It's amazing being down here. It's been way too long. I mean, I came to the other one, but just being back here is just so great. It's just, I can just do whatever, just sit, talk to people, have a good time. There's really not much where I'm from. It's just walk around maybe sit in someone's backyard but here you can just go wherever it's amazing oh you know what you know what i got hold on i wanted to you know the heat is driving me nuts i got yeah. something for everybody hold on i got something for everybody the heat's driving me nuts um but you know what let's do this let's do this all right ladies and um, ladies and gentlemen boys and girls how about some Gorilla Glue from the A7? You guys enjoy. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, that was dope. <laughs> that was fucking great. That got me psyched. I'm like dealing with a heat stroke here, so I wanted to play that before you came on. But that was awesome. Yeah. Hey, hey, tell me about. T tell me about, like New York hardcore and how it's influenced you personally as a teenager, and, and what bands really really resonate for you. I mean, yeah, I. Town I grew up in, just a lot of rich white people, a bunch of yuppies. Uh, started listening to hardcore when I was young. My dad always playing in the car. And, uh, you know, it's just this music, it just spoke to me. It, was, it wasn't like anything I ever heard because, you know, it's not on the radio. It's, it's all rap and pop music. But I don't know. It's just there's something about it. I, mean, I remember the first time listening to Chromax, it just blew my mind. And just ever since then, I've tried to live life with a hardcore mentality, you know, PMA, just treating people how you want to be treated, respecting others, you know, because it's a family more than anything. And that's what I love about the most, honestly. Absolutely. What bands, like what band, what were the first bands you got into as a young teenager that you really fucking loved? Uh, first was cro -Mags. Uh, after that, Gorilla Biscuits really just blew my mind. The start today was just it's crazy. Uh, maximum penalty, oof. maximum penalties. Oh, uh, yeah. Just I tried to just listen to everything I could find because it was just this new genre of music to me. It was just so amazing. It's, it's great. A uh, Murphy's Law. Uh, yeah, the first show I went to was a Chromax show. Yeah, so I, I don't know who else played. I, I know I saw them with Sheer Terror one time. That was, that was really good, too. Hey, uh, I want to I shout somebody. I want to shout somebody out right now because my phone just blew up because somebody, somebody tagged me or something on Instagram. Yo, I want to shout out Hoyer Rock from Mad Ball. I know you're watching, brother, and I appreciate it, and I appreciate you posting up the stuff, and you have to come on the show, Hoyer. You, we have to have you on here, brother. I'm going to be reaching out to you soon, man, and I uh, miss you, and I'll talk to you soon, and you're definitely coming on the show. You're going to hear from me soon. I'm, I see you out there, man. I see you out there. So, so yeah, you know, a little mad ball, huh? Oh, oh, mad ball. Oh, my God. I saw them on uh, Kingsland, uh, I think it was 27th, 28th last year. Just... That was that was an insane show. Mad Ball is something else. That's I I put that on. I'm just walking around. I feel like the biggest badass in the world. Like Mad Ball is amazing. 
I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's like being, being a, a, a musical historian that I am, Madball came along at a point where there's sort of things dipped a little bit in New York hardcore. And Madball really, really, really was the savior of New York hardcore and really brought it real back, you know, back on the map, man. There was a, a few, you know, that Madball led the charge of the new generation of, of hardcore bands. I don't know what, what, I mean, at that point, it might be like, you know, they, you know, first wave, second wave, third wave, you know, you know, obviously, if you think about you know, historically, right, first, first wave would be 1980 to 1984. This is, this is the way I look at it, right? The, the sort of musical historian I am. Let me get, let me get a good banner on. You know what? I'm going to throw the, <laughs> throw the Arnie Stone banner up there. All right. The words of wisdom from Arnie Stone banner for this one. So the way I always considered it is the first wave was 1980 to 1984, led by these bands. The second wave was like 84 to like 88, like the crossover bands and that. And then I'd say like, you know, 88 to like early 90s. And then, you know, Madball, I, I almost consider like the fourth wave. And by then, things were sort of, there was a lull. And, you know, Madball came on strong, man. And they really... They really brought things back around for New York City. So much love to Hoya and Freddie. Uh, they, they've kept that band going through the years, um, through thick and through thin. You know, ab ab absol absolutely. So um, let me get. So, yeah. So cool. Um, a lot of people are asking about your dad out there and say they can't believe that that's your dad. So. Your dad really turned you on hardcore, huh? Oh, yeah. 100%. I mean, just growing up, I mean, just surrounded by the music you hear everywhere, just on the radio and everything. I mean, it was – I could listen to it. It wasn't good, but I don't – he just – it was Madball, actually. Uh, it was one of their albums in Spanish. I actually didn't even know that they had music in English until, like, three years ago. But it, I heard it the first time, just – it was – unreal it was just oh that's i uh, just oh there's nothing like it it's amazing yeah i like this i like what tim gammon says i've been hurt more at madball shows than any other get the chaos get the chaos pumping in the blood madball 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 yeah there you go there you go parent parenting done right Lori dawn how are you hon i hope i hope things are well um a big fan of your work, hon. Um, good parenting. Yeah, I like this one. There should be like a chart, like the guy who did the Metal Evolutionary document. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, that, that, that. That would be cool. Yeah. Upstate Rick, Mad Ball is like hardcore water. If anybody, um, if anybody has a question for Logan, other than when are you going to clean up your room or take the garbage out, let's, let's do a question for, for, for Logan for one of the young bucks in the New York hardcore scene. And uh, let's get one question before he's out the door. We bring in our next guest, which is Davey Hooligan from Enziguri. And we got a couple of, we got a couple others. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. You know what? We got a friend of ours, um, Logan, a friend of ours, Wants to say hi. Somebody gave him the link. I didn't. Let's bring on the Reverend Nikki Bullets from the Car Bomb Parade. What's up, buddy? My man. How What's are you? That? How's everyone doing? Hello. Hello, everyone in the entire world. How are we doing? How are Logan. you, buddy? What, get, what's, you, the buddy? what's the latest? What's the latest? What's the latest? With what? What you want to know? I went for a nice run this morning up a mountain because fuck it. It was a nice run. And there was like an old foundation up there. It was pretty dope. Uh, Car Bomb Parade is going to be resuming practice uh, very soon, this month. And we have a lot of songs to rehearse, man. We are fucking fired up and Good. ready to just rage, 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 purge, man. You ready to Logan. come back? You ready to come back and play the Magic Room? Only if Logan's on it, man. Fucking kid's got pipes, man. He's the truth. The truth. <laughs> he's the truth. Yo, I get scared because I got to work for that fucking endurance, man. This kid, he's young. He's like a... 
He's like a stallion, man. Good shit. Good shit. Logan, you're killing it out there. Keep fucking creating. Don't stop. You're going to do fine. Thank For you. real. Thank you. For real, man. And uh, yeah. And I didn't know that there was a hardcore band named Down Syndrome. I mean, the more you learn, you know. <laughs> I, I tell so. you what, you know, I've, I've glanced. Listen, I've read the plaque a million times, but it's like one of those things that like you... <laughs> You know, now I'm really reading it for the show, and there's like bands on here. I'm like, huh? Like, you know, I know almost everybody. I played with almost everybody in this room, but uh, there's a couple that I, I don't know. The influence. I don't know the influence. I don't know. Maybe that. they're the same guys from Down Syndrome. We don't know. We it could be anyone at this point. We don't the know. Attack. True. That's a good one. The we're we're the attack. It's hard. That is what pretty should we good. name our band? How about the attack? So, Drew, I just wanted to ask a question. And I, man, how is it that you don't have a dope head tattoo? I don't know. I think you're overdue, my man. That that scalp looks gorgeous. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like the tattoo thing, you know, I got tattooed like when I was way younger. And people say, oh, no, once you start getting tattooed, you're never going to stop. And this is when I, you know, and then I was rolling around the world with the biohazard guys. And those guys got tattooed by, like, the greatest tattoo artists all over the world. You know, the, that was part of, you know, the traveling. But, you know, I, I, got, a, I got a couple of things, um, a couple of bangers. But I don't think I'm getting tattooed on my face or on my head or my arms. I never wanted tattoos on my arms, you know. I ended up getting tattooed in... In other other places, you know, uh, like chest. Woo! That's Listen, gorgeous, in, in, man. until you, until you have a scar like that running down your running down your chest, I'll go scar for scar oh, with got, anybody. No, I win, man. When I have a burn that goes from my ankle all the way up to my knee, all the way around, I'm third degree. Oof. Ouch. So, yeah, I tried to. Yeah, let, yeah. Here I you go. Pool, yeah, biohazard got biohazard got Paul Booth tattoos. Yes, I was around for all that, and I was on the road. I was on the road with Biohazard for um, a couple of years, and they got tattooed by like the greatest tattoo artists on the planet Earth. Yes, Papillon. For those for those that are wondering what inspired me, what inspired me to get that tattoo, uh, it's a film with Steve McQueen called Papillon uh, that had a big effect on me. Uh, when I was growing up, that film really resonated for me and really spoke to me. And I always, you know, and in the film, Steve McQueen has this, ta this tattoo on his chest. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, it really, uh, it really resonated with me. So this thing what took a, cool a long story. This thing Steve took a McQueen. long time what and a cool lot of dude. work. And, uh, you know, it's there beautiful, you go. man. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, I know I got to lose some weight, man. I know. I get it, bro. I got to lose a little weight. I gained 25 pounds in this thing. People, people like, people like commenting on my tits now, you hey, know, listen, like, listen, Drew, it's really important to understand that, you know, chubby is cool again. I mean, <laughs> I am a huge supporter of the chubby people. I love them round and a little jiggly and it's a good <laughs> thing, you know? So listen, Drew, you know, you're a 10 in today's society, you know, a new world, hardcore chubby girls, chubby dudes. I like down. girls. I like girls. Any, I like girls. What can I say? Um, that, that's that's good. Yeah, listen, you know, I like anyone. What can I say? I like girls. I know it's not cool these days. I'm a straight guy, and I like people from. I like. I like um, the other. The, I like. How do I say it? The I like girls. The that's speech. good, Drew. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you I'm glad you asserted your your, your oh. passion for ladies. Oh my god. Now if anyone isn't really clear out there in the world, I just want to let you know that you <laughs> did assert that he likes girls. You know in a very non-specific way. It just means like everyone, really. The female of the species. That's what I was trying to get at. But the heat. It's the female of the species. I like the female that's, of the species. You know? So, that's great. So, I mean, they're, so, they're wonderful. So there you go. Wonderful. All right? Are you happy now? 
I'm happy all the time, my man. Logan, <laughs> right. keep killing right. it, dude. You guys are gonna do great. And Jesus, I can't wait man, to see no, you out there. My tits aren't my tits aren't that big, man. Come on. <laughs> right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Holy 57 shit. year old declares he likes girls <laughs> just letting you know he likes girls i think i like girls i think i don't know i mean <laughs> holy shit wow yeah yeah we're definitely getting crazy from from the <laughs> shake those titties holy Someone shit all right wow all right Hold on, I gotta. Please. You gotta. You gotta be polite. Let, let me try to get back please. on track here because I'm sure the people <laughs> around the world don't need to hear about my tits and how I like girls. So all they're right, called hold on. breasts. Where I, I, there's a there was a, I'm looking for a question for Logan. Ah, Logan, here we go. Here's your question, buddy, and, and I'll I'll get out of the. Uh, let me get this banner off, and um, and I'll mute myself so we don't have echo. Logan, what bands would you like to play with once we can have shows again? Um, Corbon Parade, obviously. Uh, Diamond Dogs, you know, my man Mike Clug. Uh, no Compromise, Enziguri. It's basically uh, all the people played A7, you know, the real people that we've built a bond with. This kid don't even know. We're all like, we can't wait to play with it's, you. You know, me. like... <laughs> Yeah. Um, favorite show, favorite show favorite at Niagara show. A7. Favorite show at Niagara A7. Maximum penalty. Come on, that was ridiculous. I, I, I couldn't leave the room the whole time. There was people from every single direction, 360 degrees, just punching me and kicking me. It was amazing. That was great. Yeah, for sure. That was awesome. So, all right, listen, I'm going to keep, right. keep it moving, Logan. Um, I want to thank you for coming on the show. I'll see you outside in a little bit. Um, what can I say? I love your band. Uh, your family's great. You got a good bunch of dudes. And it just, it, it's just really, it really means a lot to me and some of the older cats to see you young teenagers, um, you know, in the mix and, and, and a part of it. So we'll, we'll talk to you soon, buddy. I'll talk to you later. Oh yeah. So, hey, anybody you want to shout out? Um. Uh, you know everyone, everyone right here. A seven Rampage Mosh Crew. You know Sharpie, George, all the boys from Gorilla Blue, the Blue Crew, my boys from No Compromise, Diamond Dogs, Carbon Parade, Enziguri, you know, Drew, of course. You know. Thanks, buddy. I'll talk to you soon. All right. There, there you go. Hey, I want to I wanna hold on a second. We gotta put um I wanna give you guys the view of what's going on uh outside here. What's up, buddy? Ah, oh, there he is, that beautiful <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. That's the mosh, that's the mosh captain right there. Oh, there's no sound right now. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? What's up? What's up? That is so beautiful. Oh. Kings right. never die. Quite a beautiful crew you got out there, Drew. And we're back. Could you could you hear me when could you hear me when uh, I went switch to the other camera? Not really. No. Okay. I couldn't. That doesn't mean that that that's not a, yeah. a general consensus worldwide. Okay. Okay. Hey, where's Sid? Sid the kid, where are you, man? Right. Hey, Sid, you out there? Honor. You have to understand. Sid? I understand, like, but hello, I'm an Sid. If I can't get in there, what does Sid, that tell listen. you? You want to hear Sid bullshitting? Like, here, let's 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 let's, 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 let's peek in. Let's peek in on on Sid a moment in Sid's life. 
out of here. Oh, there he is. Oh, you with me now, bro? I'm here. All right, here, hey, let's, let's do album. Let's do album of the week. All right. All right, give me. I gotta find okay. a, a quiet spot. Hold on. Here we You're go. Good man. Knocking shit all over the place. I've tried to find. All right, so you can. All right, here. I get it. This camera here. Yeah, the the mic, the mic. I got it. Okay. But this camera's can cool. You hear me yeah, hold can on you a second. Me? Yeah, I can hear you. Shut the fuck up. Here, see. Right. There you go. Ah. There's our people outside, there. all hanging out outside the A7. There you go. Steve Gallo go. and everybody else. Let's take another peek. Thank God we can't hear them. Cool shit. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. Listen. I'm sorry if things are a little hectic today. I have I have heat stroke and I like girls. All right. Hey, we all Call like me old girls. fashioned. Call me old fashioned and kooky. I like girls. All right, can you hear me, Sid? Yeah, you, you can still hear me good, Drew? Nah, speak into the microphone louder. Yeah. Bluetooth speaker, a.k.a. microphone. Yeah, now yeah, you there me? you go, there you go, there you go. Um, All right, Drew. Here, okay, so let's do, let's, do, let's do album of the week, okay? Hey, week, Here yeah, we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. album of the week. Boom. Damn. Oh, he oh hell yeah, yeah man. Yeah. All right, you, you have the floor. Talk about this album. All righty, guys. So if you can already tell, this is the, the album that pretty much for hardcore and punk rockers, you got to know what the fuck it is, for God's sake. Even though it's been around, Jesus Christ. I believe uh, the uh, they recorded this back in 80, uh, August of 81 and was released December 5th, 1981. And believe it or not, this album is you know, pretty pinnacle for a lot of people who don't even realize now that you know Drew's doing the the uh, the show from the actual A7. Black Flag actually had to try out for Henry Rollins in that very same room. Basically, they did uh, two practices with him before they you know brought him out to LA for his first show. Then eventually, you know, they had to learn a lot of the material from you know uh, from Ron Reyes and Keith, and this is what it came up with. A lot of the stuff. Honestly, is pre-recorded, but they wanted to bring Henry into the mix, and definitely is a what is and still is a game changer within hardcore and punk rock. You know, in my opinion. Where are you? I'm here, man. You true. I'm here. Yo, there you are. Listen, absolutely. Um, let me let me pontificate about this record for a second. Um, this record changed my life. This record changed my life. Um, I was ju I was in just getting into hardcore when this record came out. Um, we we loved Black Flag. I was up in Boston, part of that Boston crew, man. And you know when Des was singing for them, we fucking loved them. But you know what we loved? We loved the fucking SOA record that came out on Discord. That SOA seven inch, we fucking loved it. And right here in this room, crazy enough, and th their name's on the plaque, Black Flag, is where Henry, like, like Sid said, this is where Henry Rollins first took the mic for Black Flag and did his song Clocked In because he had to get in the car and drive all the way back to D.C. because he was working at the haagen store. So they dedicated it to Henry. This one's for Henry because he has to get back to work. And Henry grabbed the mic right here in this fucking room and did the song Clocked In. And then he drove back to his haagen -Dazs. Uh He was a manager of a haagen uh place in, um, in D.C. 
Then I guess Black Flag was talking amongst themselves. Des wanted to move from being the vocalist to the second guitar, and they called Henry up and said, "Hey, you want to you want to sing for Black Flag?" So Henry stepped into Black Flag, and I think pretty much all these songs were, were already were already done. If you ask me, not that anyone's asking me, but if you ask me, if you ask me, this is part of the reason why this record is so great is because all the material was basically written before Henry Rollins joined the band. So he was really stepping in to something that was already established. I'm not a real big fan of the later Black Flag stuff. That's just me. What do I know? I'm a little kooky, right? I like girls. What do I know, right? So, but when this record came out, we were so fucking stoked on this record. This was like a, this, this, yo, this record changed my life. This record and the Bad Rains War cassette And the two minor threats, seven inches. Fuck. This record fucking rules, man. And, you know, it's weird because, you know, time marches on and this and that. But I cannot, I cannot emphasize the impact that this record had um, when it came out. This, this record was just, this record was dope when it came out. And, uh. You with me, Sid? No? I lost Sid, but you know what? Thank you, Sid. Uh, if you want to sign off and sign back on. But yeah, anyway, I hope, I hope that made sense. I know I'm a little delirious here because it's hot like fuck. I think it's hot out there. Um, there you go. Girls, all we really want is girls, 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 red lips, fingertips, girls, girls, girls. Yeah, man. So, yeah, listen, it's still, it's, listen, I don't want to get off the mark here. Six pack, um, best black flag album, absolutely. Um, mid 80s black flag was boring. Yo, honestly, I got to say also, we were so excited when the record after this came out, which was My War, it was a bitter disappointment. Um, I mean, I know in retrospect, a lot of people dig it in the song My War, but Chuck Dukowski was out of the band and Dez wasn't playing second guitar anymore. And like, My War was a big disappointment at the time to me. But what do I know? You know what I like. So that said, um, yeah. Am I going to get Weinstein for this? Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Um, music video for, yeah, Slip It In and all that. I mean, the stuff was good, but this, this was just a fucking game changer, man. This, this is just a game changer. Let me see. Any other comments here? Um, yes, Upstate Rick, very important album. Yes, theme, the SOA EP rules. Game, love that. Love that. No, Ian... Ian didn't uh, work at, I don't think Ian worked at the Hagen Dazs. If I remember, I rem this is what I remember. What I remember, I dismember Mamba. What I remember is when we went down to DC, um, when D Control played down there, I remember Ian working as an usher in a movie theater. That's what I remember because we went and saw him there. So, um, any chance of getting Henry Rollins on the show? You know, I haven't reached out to Hank. Maybe I should, but. You know, I've, I've, you know, I've been kind of going for the low-hanging fruit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Um, I'll reach out to Henry at some point. Was it Spot who produced Damaged? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yep. Yep. For sure. All right. So there you go. Uh, thank you, Sid. Uh, record of the day. Um, the unpopular opinion, but my war is better than damaged, even though side B is a little meh. Hey, Metal Gabe, that's why you are Metal Gabe. Of course you like my war better. I am hardcore Drew Stone. So, of course, you know. Um, there you go. Melissa Ann. Melissa Ann Kabula. What's up? How you doing? Get Keith Morris. I don't know, man. Keith's, Keith's tough. 
nah, 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 nah. I don't know if I could deal with Keith. I, I don't know. All right, someone caught that. Hell yes, I too. I just I dismember Mama. What was that from? Why do I remember that? Was it some comedy or some? I dismember Mama. Um, all right, enough, enough, enough lunacy here. Uh, the delirium is set in. It's the New York Hardcore Chronicles Live, sponsored by Fryette Amplification, New York Hardcore Comics, and the Organic Grill. Uh, we're going to bring on our next guest. Let me just make sure everything's cool. Melissa Kabula. Hope you're well, hon. Um, here you go. Fuck that hippie. <laughs> Word. That's funny. All right. Um, there you go. Um, you catching all this, Nikki? Yeah, I'm catching everything. Hey, say hi to Cookie. She wants hi. to say hello. Hey, hi, Drew, Cookie. How you girl. doing? I'm a girl. She's a you girl. Like oh, really? Do you like? Wow. You know what? Yeah, look, look. <laughs> wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no. There she is. Get in there, girlfriend. Hi. Hey, you know what? I found a girl. You know what? I like girls. But that's your girl, bro. That's your girl. So I'm no, no, I don't mess with own, other people's she's girls. Her own, she's her know? own girl, my man. I, no, no ownership in my life. Hey, man. is that itchy and scratchy? Somebody just asked. That's <laughs> it. That's yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> can we can we have a show where Drew just sings Motley Crue songs? You know. No, they, he, he would, I'm you, on my you, way. E. <laughs> oh, sweet. Tonight, we can do this, man. Tonight. I'm excited. I'm excited that Dave's coming on. Did you listen to that Bronx Zoo? Wait, wait. What are you excited about? I'm excited that Dave is coming on right now. Have you listened to that Bronx Zoo? How, no, but you know what? How about you do the intro for him right now? Go. You're on. This is Dave Hooligan. <laughs> Davey Hooligan from Enziguri. There, there he is. is Davey Hooligan from Enziguri. What's up, Hello. buddy? How are you? Yep. How are you doing? My man. What's happening, What's happening? Davey? What's the update? Anything happening with the band? Yeah, today we have a, a live set airing at um, High Vibes Inc. 914. Some Westchester guys put something together. And um, Walter, our drummer, was stuck over in Argentina, but he's actually home now. And while he was stuck there, he put together this pretty cool um, set. I think it's like 20 minutes long. Of, uh, we each recorded in separate rooms, separate places, and put it all together to be like a live thing. Guest stars popping in and out throughout the whole set. Um, I think we're going to try to do some more of these because this this was a pretty fun thing to do. I think it's uh, airing today at 6 at highvibesinc.com. And, uh, yeah. Going to get back to writing and – Going full force now that Walter's back. So, might, might have a full length by the time the shows are back up and going. How are you doing? I'm, I'm good, man. Does it, uh, I'm good, man. Tell us, uh, tell us, is it not like, is it nice to be back in the magic room? And, and let talk a little bit about, talk a little bit about this room and, and sort of what we, how special it is for you. A band because there's a lot of bands like yourself who you know you never thought that you'd play this room, right? Never. I've seen the old footage, I'd seen you know scenes of like Jimmy G dancing across the floor. They got a cool picture of him hanging in here. It's it's crazy to look at some of this stuff and to look at like the plaque that you're sitting behind and think like, oh, this, they're still happening. Like you brought back the hardcore matinees for Sundays, and I think it's a beautiful thing, man. It's I it really had so much momentum and today is like a testament to people just love it. People are coming out. There's not, no bands are even playing today. It's just, you know, you're doing the live stream finally back from here in NYC and it's awesome. Uh, I have a lot of feelings about playing in this room. A lot of my favorite bands are on that plaque. A lot of, you know, a lot of older people would tell me stories about, um, you know, the shows that would go on and just thinking about hanging out on like Avenue a right across the street from Tompkins square park. It, you know, it means a lot. It means a lot to me. I used to be, you know, like when I was like 14, coming in, like ride the six train all the way down in just so I could go hang on St. Mark's because it was like familiar just from bands I would listen to talking about like this area. So to get to come and hang out on a Sunday, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful day out today. People are respecting, you know, wearing masks, social distancing, and everybody's having a good time. 
Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, we we really, you know, who would have thunk it? You know, I, you know, these shows that we started here, we really created a nice community and a lot of people. And, you know, it's almost like the, uh, uh, I don't want to, everybody in hardcore is kind of an outsider, but we're sort of like the outsiders of the outsiders, you know? And now we sort of have, we have our, we have our own thing here, man. And, and it's great. And everyone's welcome here. Everybody's welcome. There's always room on our boat for everybody, everybody. So um, how about this? Anybody out there? Um, let me see. Oh, let's, let's, what's up, Zum? Nice, nice to, I hope things are uh, well out in Long Island, Zum. Uh, from Upstate Rick, Brock, Bronx Zoo is amazing. Thank you, Rick. Thank yeah. you, Rick. I really appreciate that. Yeah, we, we had a lot of plans for Bronx Zoo. And then, you know, like with every other band, the, the pandemic just kind of wiped all our tour dates away, wiped everything we were, uh, you know, working on away. But now that Walter's back, hopefully we'll get some, you know, content out, some videos and stuff for those songs and keep pushing forward. And hope, hopefully when the shows are back, we're ready to roll full steam ahead. Thank you, Rick. Lenny B. B. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And, uh, you know, I mean, hey, uh, Big Rob from uh, Bitter Uproar. Is Bitter Uproar on the plaque? No, Bitter Uproar's not on. What the fuck? How can Bitter... How could Bitter Up? Yo, did Bitter Up War play the A7 back in the day, Rob? Let me see if I let me let me look. Hold on, let me see. Do I have any? I know I pulled a couple of pictures before the show. Did I pull? Oh, you know what? All right, here's it. Let's do a little tour of a couple of pictures here while while we're at it. Um, here is here's a shot. This is a early. This from what I'm told, this is a. This is Reagan Youth's first show at A7. Uh, this is going back to 1981, right here in this room. And uh, Dave Insurgent, God rest his soul. Uh, here's another one, another A7 shot. Uh, this is this is Urban Waste uh, in that same era. There you go, some Urban Waste A7. There's John Watson, I think, with the Mohawk on the left. And then... Here's another, here's a Tim Daly shot. Here's a Tim Daly shot. This is from the reunion show that we did. This is, this is um, Gilligan's Revenge. So this is all stuff that, uh, that's gone down at the A7 and uh, lots, of, lots of cool stuff. Uh, um, I love seeing pictures from back then and realizing I'm friends with those guys today. Yeah, man, for, for sure. Ah, Big Rob Bitter Upper are played here with the Psychos. Yes, of course. Yo, you, you know, Big Rob, Big Rob, you know, there's a couple of high and the mighty pictures from back in the day here at the A7. You know what? I got to find one of these. Hold on. Let me find one of these. And uh, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me find one of these. There it is. Bingo. Right off the bat. That's rare. Here's a picture of the High and the Mighty playing A7 in 1983 and Big Rob from Bitter Uproar in the mix right there, man. Motherfucker in the mix. That's me on the right with the mic holding it. You know, there's Big Rob coming over the top. Over Rob's shoulder, you see Jimmy G. He's kind of cut off at the eyes. There's Ken Schiffman. Um, rest in peace. There's Ethan. This is the old 1983 A7 show, but there's... there's Big Rob from Bitter Uproar representing High and the Mighty A7. Cool shit. Cool shit right there. Yeah, man. Yo, I got the goods, bro. Got the goods. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm bummed. We were, we were uh, lined up to do the High and the Mighty reunion show with you guys at A7. I'm bummed I never got to go down. Hopefully in the future. Yeah, I mean... Eventually, things are going to pick up. It might be, it might be a while, but you know, eventually, hopefully, it's not too long. You know, I mean, I don't think things are going to chill out until there's a fucking vaccine. Personally, you know. Yeah, I've heard everything till twenty twenty one. Like, don't count on any shows or anything like that, which is a bummer, but. Yeah, like, uh, 
Lenny shouting out my Jufro from back then. Yeah, man. Listen. Yep. Um, what else? Boy, people are people having a heyday in the chat room today, man. Yeah, historic. Love the checkerboard, the checkerboard linoleum floor. Abs absolutely, man. Absolutely. Um, let me, while we're here, um, let me shout out a couple of upcoming shows that I forgot that I forgot to do because I have heat stroke. Next up, this Wednesday, get your shoes and socks on, kids. It's Lou and Pete Kohler of the Kohler Brothers coming up with Howie Abrams to talk about their book, The Blood and the Sweat. What's up? So that's going to be a good one. That's this Wednesday, the Kohler Brothers and Howie Abrams. Then a week from today by popular demand is going to be the Planet of the Apes show. There you go. The Planet of the Apes show with Chris Mills. From Mucky Pup, me, Steve Messina, Rap Bones. We're going to go deep into cinematic history and go, really, this is going to be fun. I'm a big, big, I'm a big fan of the original films. And uh, we're really, we got some fanatics coming on the show. So if you're a fan of the original Planet of the Apes series, tune into the show. We're going to have a lot of fun. Then, the Wednesday after that, we have Matt. Wild Card Henderson coming up, and uh, that should be pretty great. Let me get rid of all these fucking pictures. Um, that should be pretty great. Matt Henderson, the eulogy agnostic front mad ball, blind, blind approach. We love Wild Card. Good, good dude. Um, and then I don't know if if you heard, if you heard, hey, you heard. How about this one? We got motherfucking Sammy Siegler coming on the show. Judge, Shelter, Civ, Youth of Today, Side by Side, Glass Draw, Project X, Rival Schools, Worldly Free, Constant Elevation. Yo, Sammy Siegler is coming on the show. So we're kind of stoked on that. And then, last but not least, announcing this new show, we have the... Worldwide Hardcore Firing Squad, Tim Daly, Rich Zoller, and Steve Messina coming on with all their fantastic photos. It's going to be a, 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 a cornucopia of a, 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 a melee of incredible photographs from the New York hardcore scene. Uh, we're looking forward to bringing these guys on. So, you know, that, that's going down. Um, that said, uh, Carl June, yes, Matt is one of my favorite guitarists on the scene. Well, Carl, this show is just for you, man. Uh, we're psyched. Matt's an old friend. We love it, dude. Hi, Danielle. I hope you're well. Used to have playing cards from the Planet of the Apes TV show. You too? There you go. Um, Metal Gabe, the first Planet of the Apes is one of the best movies of all time. It's like a full-length Twilight Zone episode. That's right. You got that right. Um, uh, you should get Dave Niebuhr from Mucky Pup and Doggy Dog. Eh, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll see. Oh, let's get Enziguri on a stream show like ML did. Well, just talk about that. Actually, thanks for reminding me. How about a video? How about a video, kids? How about an Enziguri video? Here we go. Hands up, I'm going out, tie me in the underground I 
want it rough, I want it loud, got to dive into the club, I feel the show, sweat go, when you know I'm feeling down, the only road, I feel the know, see why we come around, see looks completely new to me, no more stuff, your ability, I see who's real and who's a thief. The more we feel, who still believe? Some of the produce blasts for me. I hear no passion in your scream. There's not a sound in my sergeants. What have to do the unity? Hands up, I'm going now. Find me in the underground. I want it rough, I want it loud. Gonna dive into the ground. Show, sweat, go. When you know I'm feeling down, the only road I've ever known. See you all when I come around. New York City and so New York City and so Well, there you go, Enziguri. Tell, tell us a little bit. Tell us a little bit about that video. Uh, that was our first video that we ever shot off the first self-titled EP for uh, Heads Up. My boy Justin Leibowitz put it together. He's actually the owner now of uh, Third Eye Throwbacks Vintage Shop in the Bronx at 3004 Middletown Road. Um, he put it together. It was a fun, you know, for a while we were booking the shows at Alfie's and we had a good thing going. You know, a lot of bands were saying that we were like the first time they played the Bronx was because they came up and played Alfie. So I'm, I'm grateful for the time that was spent. And uh, I wish things could have ended a little different. But, um, you know, a video like that is a good snapshot of what it was when it was at the height of being a cool thing going. Um, yeah, it was fun. Half the people in those half the little cameos or homies of mine uh my boy nick ruger is the first shot our homies in synopsis firing which is like an alt rock band from the bronx are in there jacks from left in the attic a lot of good friends alex bondera from conversing promotions a lot of people were in that video it was a real fun time shout out to mackie banker for letting us do that cool right on well good um, I want to thank you for coming on the show um, and, and for your support. Let's bring a couple other people on. Nikki, what's happening, Nikki? Yes. Steven? Hey, Steven, what's going on out you? there, bro? Steve, Steven, Steven, like you know, brother, hold on. What shirt is that you're wearing? I want to, I want to, I want to put this camera on and I want everybody to see what's, what's going on outside. And which man? Yeah. No, he's he's my hair. Oh, that's cool. Hold on. Here we go. Take a look at. Oh, I get it. I gotta end the show because I want to go outside and hang out with my friends. Okay. This is what's happening outside. Oh, I used to have that as a kid. You gotta put it back together with like blue or white. No, no. It's a pain in the ass. I I used to have that with the with the with the secret staircase and everything. Yeah. I used to have that. Oh wait! Oh shit! We're on! Hey! <laughs> What's up? What is that? Hey hey! I didn't realize we were on, but we're on. Shit! Two stone. Hey, hey! Hold on! Wait, wait! Hold on a second! Hold on! Hold on! The party's just starting, Drew. What's wait, up? Hold on, hold on a second! I see the Reverend. Oh, you're there. Ew, Stephen. How's everybody Jay doing? Nikki! Ow! Nikki! Ow! Nikki! Oh, that's. Oh, shit. 
What a beautiful Hello. thing. Hello, everyone. You? We got that's me. Where, no, that's you too. Look. Oh my God. Is that Drew? Oh, that's Drew. There's Drew. Drew's in there too. Oh. That's hey. Drew's We're all in there. Station. I see Reverend there Nikki Bullets right there. Hey. You oh, see sorry. Dave up there. Look at him. Listen. Listen, we're here on the corner. We got the whole group here. Look, hold on now. Everybody, we're in here. Say hello. Oi, 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 oi. Sorry, man. What's up, man? How <laughs> made it? Over this way. It's an informal gathering. Awesome. We're all here. I'm coming. I'm Look at that beautiful. I want to be there so bad. Oh. Hey, listen. Listen, I want to thank uh, hey, Nikki. Thanks for coming on the show. Davey, hey, thank, thank you for Davey. having me. I'll talk to you guys. Davey, I'll see you soon. Davey, I'll see you soon. Stevie Gallo. Nikki, yo, yo, I'll see you yo, soon. Yo, yo, what's thank going you. down? What's, what's, yo, listen. Steven, we got the I'm whole gonna, crew here. Steven, I'm gonna look at the window. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the mic. I'm gonna come to the window with the with the uh, camera. Hold on. Oh shoot! Everybody, go to the window over there. Yo. We're across the street right now. They made us go across the street. I got Dan and Steve right here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, they're at the window. We can't go to the window. That's All right, everybody, go to the window. Hold on now. I'm going to follow Rich Solar. <laughs> All right, guys, get your head stuck over there. Oh, well, now, now we got to go back the other way? Well, that was kind of awesome, huh? Yeah. Wow. That was really great. Listen, I got to go outside and hang out with my friends. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank every... Yeah, exactly. Behave, Andre. Yeah, no shit. You know, better fucking behave. Thanks, everybody. I'll say hi. It's a good time. Uh, we're still on there. We're waiting. Thank, no, thanks, we're everyone. Screen, I want to go hang out with my friends. I'll see you on Wednesday for the Kohler Brothers. I thank everyone for their support from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Do good things, and good things will come to you.